In this video, I'm going to be providing you with an honest Dish TV review, as I am a Dish TV customer for the past six months now. This is the page that accompanies this video. Overall, I give Dish TV four stars out of five. Dish TV is a satellite television service, which is a less expensive alternative to cable TV. That's its biggest selling point is the fact that it is generally considerably less expensive. Most cable TV networks start at around $100 per month for basic cable TV and they go up significantly from there. Dish TV has packages starting at $65 a month and offers a much more extensive channel lineup for that price. This is the Dish TV website. And as you can see here, the price is 190 channels, which include all your local news stations and local channels, starting at the time of this video of $64.99 per month. And for just $35 more, you can get an extra 100 channels. And the one thing that I like, in addition to the low price of Dish, is one thing cable TV does is they have their fees and taxes. And to me, that adds significantly and ridiculously to the overall price that is on your bill. Usually adds about 25 to $30 to your total bill. While Dish TV, that price is reasonable, around $15 or $12 extra per month. So Dish TV seems to be a more honest alternative as well. The basic good things about Dish TV... As previously mentioned, a much lower price compared to other live television options such as cable TV. The interface and menu for finding channels is very nice, better than cable TV. That's it right there. As you scroll through the channels, on the right hand side you get a description of what is being shown right now on that channel. Pay-per-view events can be ordered directly from your TV. For example, the bigger Upcoming pay-per-view events are usually displayed at the bottom of the channel lineup menu right here. And a lot more channels that are part of Dish TV, including all the premium channels, movie channels such as HBO and Showtime. The bad things about Dish TV are basically little bugs. I feel there's like too many bugs for what's supposed to be a professional television service. It's possible that these bugs occur a lot for me because I usually watch TV between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. and Dish may figure this is when most people are sleeping. So this is the time to do this. But this is just little things like Dish TV you know, restarting and then then you get a menu on the screen that says oh, Dish TV is now operating properly and all there is is an OK button on it. So I don't even know why they display it. So that's sort of a pain. And then when these system reboots can occur, you can imagine that if somebody's watching an important sports event and this type of thing occurs, the person's going to freak out and throw their pizza at the TV. Again, you can rewind things with Dish TV, so this is not a major, major issue, but it's just a little annoying bug. And here are some of those screens that I'm talking about in relation to the minor bugs and flaws. Something Dish needs to work on, but you know, with the price, it's really not a big deal. So if you don't care about price and you got a ton of money and you don't care about the price at all, then stick with cable TV. But if you want to save yourself some money, go with Dish. And here is a list of alternatives to Dish TV, which include Dish TV's main competition, Direct TV. There's Sling TV, which can be streamed from your Roku or Amazon Fire, and Pluto TV as well. Thank you for watching this complete review for Dish TV.